Yeah, combat is already over there. I just uh, came over here to get a truck because it's completely full. I wonder why that thing spazzes out like that if you get booted with a full load. Yeah, I don't know. It's supposed to reset. Like the 1.4 yeah. patch, I think. Or four I had one. it. I had it moving out like you did where it kicks back and then it reset it once and it just said, screw you. <laughs> screw you guys, I'm on home. Yeah, I ain't commenting anymore, beans. Oh, bitch, please, you are. We're doing wheat, we're doing barley. Yeah, I was gonna go to the gym, but I don't know. I'll just go tomorrow. I have a patient in the morning and then I'm gonna go after <laughs> that. Oh, and going to get drunk and look at new farm equipment. If there's a new kitty there, I'll take a picture. Tomorrow? Yeah. Oh. We have an egg expo at our convention center in town, and we get to go tour that, and then we get to uh, go recertify our applicators test on Thursday. Sweet. Is the 1100 in the pack with the 1500 and when you can buy it? Yeah. Oh, never noticed that. Oh, you're Put your tricks on the Yeah. I'm magic. <laughs> yeah, you're Ooh. magic, all right. <laughs> yeah, don't hate the player, hate the game. <laughs> I, had, I was taking out Mazda before I left the Jet Co. And I had to put the Brents back in because you have them in Dropbox still. They're in the game. The Brents? Yeah, you got the avalanche, it's still in the server, but... Oh. It told me I couldn't log on unless I downloaded them. God, that wheat crop. Some of our wheat feels pretty weedy. Wheat must get weedy. You mean barley? Yeah, I heard barley, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Mateus was gonna get on and run the cart, and then all of a sudden... Yeah, never mind, Mateus. <laughs> oh yeah. But he was in the server, and I, I told him you might as well just leave because I don't think we have a DN anymore. Well, we don't have a prescription plan either. What do you mean a prescription plan? What do you, you don't know what you're gonna put down in the field. Oh yeah. You know, because it depends on if we chisel plow or if we cult. You know, if we disc. You know what kind of nutrients we need to put down because chop yeah. chop the residues do different and our tillage tools do different yes yeah. so. that's why we're waiting for you to make the plan yeah i'll have to do that like this weekend or something figure it out hmm. do you save that as 25 please i did save it but for whatever reason like see bring up 25 and see if it's the same course is okay. what I'm running. <clears throat> if not, you can do control two and save it as twenty five. Because whenever well, I save, it never like actually saves. Oh yeah, it didn't change from I, I hit control two before I loaded twenty five, and it didn't change. For whatever reason, I can't save courses. Huh. God damn it. I'm glad we went with a 1500. I mean, for a thousand acres, it doesn't make sense. But for running two combines, it's a, almost a must. We're probably going to be doing 1200 acres next season, so. Yeah. 15, 1300. Which way are you going with that beast? Oh, never mind, you got some up here. <laughs> I'll just wait for you to finish that, go back, and then I'll catch you on, I'll just catch you on the way back towards the trucks. Yeah. I had like three kids message you on Instagram. 
Do you have a PC? Can I play with you? No. <laughs> I'm so glad I don't. I'm not in charge of it. You're in charge of the Insta, not me. So I don't have to see that stuff. Oh God, it's getting bad. I is this going to be released or is this going to stay private? This is your last warning. Please do not ask for links. <laughs> what is a link? You were banned. There's a guy on my my Facebook page like, oh, I'd go with the cat because I have all three of the John Deere's in your map. I'm like, get off that crack, dude. <laughs> <laughs> he probably has a 9RX. With the colored case. <laughs> yeah. It's just the 9R with... It's copper or whatever. So he, uh, yeah, it's a 9560R with case tracks. Yeah, it's like... I think the observation of some of the people are just Not beyond description. <laughs> you can't even describe how terrible. I have that DB120. No, you have a Lego built DB60. It's and that they don't they wouldn't even appreciate a good model if they even had it. They wouldn't even know what to do with it. No, it'd be like any other mod they have in their computer. And yeah. I see Jeremiah Donne. He's going fucking private like you are now. Why? Who's that? I don't know who that is. GRD from Corn Capital Customs. He used to be J. Fuck is that? Used to be. Remember P Hill Modding? Who? You remember Prairie Hill Modding? Did your non MR9560 quad track and your MR9560RT? They made uh, them non MR and released them. All the, like, get fucked people. No, they weren't bad. But he released a mod to a group, and somebody got pissed, posted it to Mod Hub. This is like the third time that's happened to their group. Shocker. Damn it, I didn't get them all. I was 11% in that one pass, so each pass is about 3,000 liters. It's hmm. about right compared to So what the other our fields are doing incredibly well on yields. 44, the whole thing of 44 yielded at 74 bushel an acre. know some of our cornfields are doing really good um, you know 260 250 one of them was like 220 or something yeah one of the bigger ones I thought I thought 17 was the best yeah but I was surprised six and seven were up in the 260 range I'm like six and something. seven were pretty spectacular yeah like those little fields are our best yielding fields you know <laughs> And I'm not sure what the little section of 10 was, so I just kind of averaged it out to like s yeah. 73 or whatever it ended up being. Well, we never, we never thought to do that until yeah. after the fact. Now I just need to figure out the cost per liter of grain. Because the sell point, it's like dollars per ton. Yep. But then when you sell it, it's like... The tonnage is based off of the mass value of the crop, like 0 .003 or 0 .004, so I'm not really sure what the price per crop is. So I, th I think what I'm going to do is take like maybe like 5,000 liters of each crop and sell and try to figure out what the price is. And so I can, can kind of like forecast what... Um, like forecast what my income will be and then you can figure out like I need X amount of dollars this is how many acres I actually need a plant of this crop that crop because <laughs> I think we're doing our soil management pretty well I mean our yields are right where they should be they're pretty dang close to perfect yeah Mario Pelletier must be editing your old shitty map. He just posted on AFS. And Justin Horkman asked if you were making a smaller 26, 23, and I said, nobody's got time for small shit. 
<laughs> it wouldn't be. It would be pretty easy to make a three section. Um, yeah. Pull behind the eight R. That's what he says. He... But uh, you know, we're in the process of growing and expanding. So. <laughs> we haven't got time for small shit. I would like to have Sirius's eighty-three sixty RT. He redid. Uh, he sent to me. I haven't used it yet. Looks badass. Then he replundered everything. A lot better than the hack job. Thirteen ones that you see from like FS two K. Or not F yeah. I, I still have my old one, but I haven't touched it. I still use that one with the fertilizer tanks. That's something I should do is make new fast manufacturing saddle tanks that are attachable. Mm-hmm. Make paint oh. black for the kitty. Your 7R is throwing codes if you buy it in game. Is it? Yeah, it says uh, failure to failure to load power takeoff I3D, and it screws up your save game unless you delete it out of your save game. PTO. It was like power takeoff. I don't know. I should screenshot that. I don't know what it was. Is it something about air to load? Is it I3D? new? Because I've never, I haven't touched it for a couple of months now or whatever. I just must be lately with something. If I wonder if there's a power takeoff that is not adjusting on the grain cart or something. Because we haven't had a power takeoff unit in here before. Yeah. Oh, it threw a code on Glenvar. I haven't tried it on your map. But on Glenvar it says failure to load i3d power takeoff dot i3d. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Look, big girl. If you're gonna test, might as well test on Westbridge so you know it's yeah something that. in your mods folder. I don't know what in the mods folder would do it though. <laughs> Because everything that's in the mods folder now is everything out of your Dropbox. I just got rid of everything that was yours. Um, I'm sure there's like errors in the log because I really haven't been paying attention, but... Some texture ones for the 9RX, but they don't ever affect the gameplay, so... Yeah, the I mean, the John Deere's probably have the most errors because those are just kind of... They haven't really received much attention. They probably won't with all the yellow coming this far. Yeah, I'm not really motivated to go back and do anything. I see you put the moco in here. You must gonna start mowing ditches. I don't know if I it would be able to mow these weeds though. Yeah, I don't know. I've never tried. Things to do, too little time. Yeah. We should uh, disc in this little grassy patch next season. North part of this. East part of this field. Oh. That's probably like another five acres or so. Yeah, probably, at least. Wouldn't be a bad idea. This is our last field of beans. Yeah. Kind of excited. Me too. the T9? Yeah. I'm gonna 
I lost, I lost everything when I put it away. I don't skimp. I just didn't wash the trucks because they weren't that dirty. So I uh, took out four of the 2623s <laughs> and used follow me mod. Yeah. Pulled the Jake. What? Uh, so what was wrong with the 2623 that was leaving those spots in 19? Um, I only had one depth node, and so I made depth nodes for each individual wing. So. Oh. Because if like one wing's like you know a meter lower than the other one, it's still going off of the top and so forth. So, oh. and now I just test it again and it works perfect. So, folds perfect. out, folds out nice. I like balance all the weights. And, uh, yeah, it should be good. I can't wait to see Kitty. On. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna go with the big kitty for a big tractor. I think it's the best choice. Yeah. Oh, definitely. It's like 560 some horses. Should should manhandle the cart, the ripper, and the death. Spank the DN if you really wanted it to. <laughs> yeah, so what I think we'll do is, uh, trade in the ATI and for like a down payment on the kitty. Yeah, that should be pretty decent. Maybe just. Maybe just rent the kitty and disc for this season, or could, cause I don't know when we're gonna get a great demand, you know. Yeah. I hope we get a great demand pretty soon. I mean, I could always take out a line of credit, but. Yeah. Cause we only have like twenty thousand in the bank right now. But we definitely, definitely gonna have to rent a DN. Maybe two of them. Well, I mean, if you know the list, I mean, yeah, I don't I know how much it costs to rent two. I have to put that together. Maybe get uh, Abel's big tender trailer and look that over and see if it functions correctly and use that. Instead the of the van smoke. trailer? No, the drop deck. Oh, I never tried that one. I always did the van trailer. Instead of using the little JM. See if there's any stupid comments on Instagram. This, isn't that crazy though? This entire map is only like 2,600 acres. Really? Yeah. I thought it would be bigger than that. So 
So if you went to an 8x map. Be you, more mobile. No. It would be closer to 9,000. Or 12,000. Because this is, okay, let's, it's like 2540. Um, so you'd be close to like um, 10,000 farmable acres, but. Imagine if we had a 16x map. I think it would go up a little bit more because there's a lot of like woods and trees. I don't know. Maybe the percentage of fields would remain the same out of a map that size, but that'd be such a big map. Oh yeah. You'd barely be able to harvest any all of it at once. So this is our second day of harvesting, right? Yeah. And we'll be able to probably do all Finish. the barley by the end of the I day too. I mean, if not early into like early the afternoon next day. tomorrow, yeah. So two and a half, three days to harvest it. Not bad. For so the month of work. We could probably do seventeen hundred acres in five days. 40. Yeah, or even split but it we off. we only have one combine going, you know, so... Yeah, imagine if we have both. If we have a whole combine that's just sitting there in the shed. You could probably do the whole map, but I don't know if you could do it all in one growth cycle, like planting, tilling, unless you had a bunch of tractors. I think if we had two combines going, grain driver, like, every time we were on... Mm-hmm in a truck driver, I think we'd be able to do the whole map in five days. We would be, Lethal. like, exhausted. <laughs> yeah. That's literally... It'd make tilling fun again. <laughs> yeah, we'd be, like, literally logging in, like, 14-hour days. What? I mean, it would take us probably like two weeks to do it, but in game, like five days. <laughs> so, can you save this course as 25 then? Because I can't save it. I'm just going to run it out to the end. Hopefully we'll get a full truck here. So did you dump any of that combine that was full or did you just reset it? Uh, I just kept on harvesting and I unloaded it in a truck at the end of the field here. Oh, so it let you har start harvesting and then open it again? So it was like 80... some odd, like 89%. So. No, I just changed the tank from 1 to 0, the full animation, so... It should, oh. should do that automatically with the new patch, but... Whatever, we're on a server, so who knows. <laughs> yeah, damn server. My tarp works, though. See? give you an electric
roll up on that. You can steal the one off the Brent from Raphael. You mean Abel's jet go? Or you could steal the one that Raphael's got on that Brent Simmons bought. Oh yeah. I didn't even think of that. It's already got an auto turf. That'd be nice. <laughs> I have the red one with wheels. Really? Yeah, it gave me it to test. Oh. The fill animation were a little goofy. Yeah, I think he asked me, but I was MIA, so. Yeah. His grandpa's in the hospital, so he's MIA too. Oh. Colton really MIA with his kid. <laughs> Guy doesn't show up and gets paid. <laughs> Guy doesn't chip off, gets to play with a bunch of nice mods. I've had a couple people message me asking if you're actually serious about looking for help. And go, no. We discussed that after the video and figured out, you know, we got a good group of six, let's just leave it this way. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Send applications with $5 enclosed. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, this field's so much bigger than I thought it was. <laughs> you adjusted the line different than I did too. So you're gonna run into corners on the north side. Well, either way, you're gonna run into... Huh. I had it set up to go with the lines you sprayed at. Yeah, that would have made the rows that I'm working right now really awkward. No. This is the long way, I think. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, we'll this, is, well. this is definitely the long, the longest oh. rows. There goes a full truck. <laughs> nice. It's money. What are we getting on great demand for beans? It was like 34,000 a truck or something? Yeah. Yeah. It was a lot. So what is 34,000 divided by... Fifty-four thousand six hundred seventy three. Point six two. Point six two. And then divide that by what would you say the multiplier was? Like one point eight? One point eight. Yeah. Say 1. like 8. one point eight. Point three four five. per liter. Yep. Now multiply that by um, how many liters in a bushel? 35? 34? I don't even remember what it is. Multiply it by like 34.5. 11.919. So that'd be eleven dollars per bushel of beans. Is that right? <laughs> beans are like eight bucks to be the life. But that was a great demand. Yeah. So Yep, be about right. Well that would be the on uh, that would be the great demand. That would be the base price, right? Great demand, no. The $11 a bushel would be the base price without the demand 
multiplier. No, that was with the 1.8. No, because you divided by 1.8. Yeah. So roughly $10 bushel. Yep. At 0.31? Okay. So that's pretty spot on. Yeah. Averaging, you know, 74 bushel an acre. That's like 300 acres of beans. Yeah. Pretty much at ideal, ideal numbers over here is 7.4, neutral pH, a little bit high in the moisture, but I think this will be some of our best yielding beans. Good, at least it's a decent field. It's a big field with great, great nutrients. I think I put down MPK, Lime, and PK in this field. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah, I got 88% moisture and 5 PK. Over here I'm at 86 moisture and 4 PK. Somebody just got to tell Mateus if he gets on here in combines, he needs to keep track of how many liters he dumps. He's gonna be tillage. <laughs> He's just gonna run the tillage stretcher. <laughs> Which is a, gonna be a pretty fun job now, really. Big 27, 20, 26, 23. Oh, yeah. That guy's gonna have his aid. Gonna be done in no time. I had four of those going, it was 200 feet of per pass <laughs> I was cultivating <laughs> in. That's crazy. At like yeah, 11 miles an hour. I put two 120s next to each other with R series and 31. Yeah, that's crazy. 240 feet. We have to have five. Five of those big discs going to cover cover two of those planters. Yeah. Someone messaged me, they're like, your soil, your nutrients look good, but your yields seem low. <laughs> like, no, our, y our yields are realistic. <laughs> they're not, yeah. it's, it's not 700 bushel corn like Giants, Westbridge. I remember that. I was like, I was trying to figure out what the yield was, and then you guys just go ham, and we do the math, and it came up to like 740 bushel an acre. <laughs> and we were doing that with the 16-year-old headers, and no wonder why we were like struggling to keep up. <laughs> yeah, yield's pretty good this year. Yeah, what do we got? Ah, just a bit over 700 bushel an acre. You'd, your tank would fill up so fast. <laughs> you'd have to harvest at like two miles an hour. Probably. Which isn't a bad thing. Would you no. rather take the high bushel or the like longer harvest season? 
Depends on if it was you having high bushel or everybody having a high bushel, because if everybody has a high bushel, the price is going down. Yeah. But it's a commodity, so I mean, if one area is good, the other area is bad, it might as well be the guy with the high bushel. Yeah, the price is going down this year because the U.S. has the best percentage dollar right and everybody's got good corn. Brazil's got good corn. The Argentinians got good corn. Really? Oh yeah, corn market shit right now. How many how many ethanol plants are there now? I haven't really heard much about ethanol. They're in the red. Since oil uh, was so all in the red. Why is that no longer subsidized? No, nobody's nobody's selling right now because the price is so low. Like gas keeps going down, yeah. oil keeps going down. People aren't sticking to ethanol because gas is cheaper. Yep. Well, wait till the election's over. <laughs> yeah. Shit will skyrocket like no tomorrow. Vote Hillary for prison. So, uh, my patient tonight, I was supposed to do like a treatment planning appointment, but our attending doctor called in sick, so he wasn't there. So I just did a cleaning, a little mm -hmm. pro prophylaxis, and um, I sent her to get a perio consult and an ortho consult for braces and implants and stuff like that, because she's missing like four teeth. They got right. extracted and they never got replaced, and so the, some of her back teeth are like tilting, so you have to upright them with ortho and then like bring the teeth in, like spacing. Yeah. Anyways, it's like a twenty-two thousand dollar treatment plan, and uh, I was like, I was like, damn, how is this lady gonna pay for this? You know, she doesn't have insurance; she self-pays. So I'm like, oh, she must be, dude. She cleans houses. <laughs> like, right. I'm like, there's no way you're gonna be able. To, I don't think she understands like what, how much money this is. It's probably like half of what she makes. Oh, you'd be surprised. Yeah, I would be surprised. You're right. If she, if she was making some decent money, I was. I would definitely be surprised. My buddies, the guy that used to work at my co-op, his wife does clean houses for a living in. She made pretty good money. They both made pretty good money. Yeah, I mean that has to be the case or something, cause you know you tell her twenty-two grand and she doesn't even like flinch. I'm like, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she thinks Obama will take care of it. That's what ninety-nine percent of my other patients do. What <laughs> Obama? Yes, like, uh, mass health. They have Obamacare. <laughs> that, that, dentistry is not part of the healthcare reform. Yeah. So, thank God. I like my autonomy. Oh. <sighs> but it was kind of interesting, because, like, one of the fourth years I was talking to him, and there, one of these, one of her teeth that is going to be part of the ortho treatment needs endo, it needs a root canal, and then it needs a crown on top of that. But you can't bond the brackets to porcelain. And mm. so I was like, there's a thing in dentistry. It's called a process provisional. It's like a temporary, but it's like a really nice temporary that's made by the lab. Yeah. I think that's like a. A ceramic and the cements the adhesives use that they use like uh, the orthodontists use they can bond to a ceramic or oh, a, a composite but I was asking this like he's a fourth year and I was just like he did he's like that's a really good question I'm like you're supposed to know this man <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, 
probably go talk to one of the ortho faculty about it. I have a gold tooth. <laughs> when I, I was doing a, a crown on one of the patients, he has like four gold crowns. And I was like, have you ever seen the show Gold Rush? <laughs> <laughs> And uh, he didn't know what it was, but I was like, yeah, I mean, they spend, you know, like millions of dollars and, you know, five, six months out of the year, and dig up a couple thousand ounces in gold, and you probably have, you know, probably two ounces gold in your crowns. Anyways, I'm like, you should take those out, sell them, and they'd pay for all the, all new crowns plus your additional two that you need. <laughs> yeah, I had chipped my tooth on a piece of candy. Shocker. <laughs> yeah, right. No, I've never chipped a tooth. So, but one end got a, it's in like, it ain't, you can't really see it because it's towards the back of my mouth. Yeah. But yeah, I got a gold tooth. Anyway, it's so like going back to the patient tonight, um, she, her gums are so bloody. Like, when I saw her three weeks ago, I would just poke them and they wouldn't bleed that much. But after three weeks, they're just super, like, uh, s like moderate gingivitis. It was just severe inflammation. Mm -hmm. And when you get, um, you know, borderline, I'd say, like, another month, she'd be, she'd be seeing, like, attachment loss. She'd have periodontal disease. But when you're getting ortho, it's so hard to clean. And it's like exacerbates periodontal disease like bone loss and attachment loss and like she didn't understand this concept I'm like if you have braces on for three years and you don't floss and clean when you take those braces off you'll literally have one no bone left and two your teeth will fall out <laughs> there is a, a case that I was reading about here in Massachusetts this guy he uh, he referred a patient to get braces she's like 18 year old patient and he never did any kind of perio probing, and she had active periodontal disease. You know, she's had like five, six millimeter probings, attachment loss, bone loss. Anyway, she had braces for a year, and when they took them off, they had to extract all of her teeth because Oof. the bone loss was so severe. And he got uh, he got litigated against them for malpractice. And you know, you're going to lose every time because all your key witnesses are all your doctors and they're going to be like, yeah, that's complete professional negligence. Like, that shouldn't happen ever. So I'm sure he had to pay pay for all the imp, like a roundhouse set of implants and crowns and plus the ortho. So it was probably a hundred and some odd grand he had to come up with. He had to be pretty fucking lazy and like just not care for that to ever happen. I love that blue on blue. I just it's can't fine. stop looking at it. It's just so sharp. It's nice. I was hoping we'd get them all. I was hoping we'd get everything in two trucks, the combine, and the curtain. That's what I uh, ended up doing on the north part of 44. It was uh, two trucks, combine was empty, and I had like 90% uh, in the cart. Huh. We might get close and get it all. I think we could there's load up like both trucks to the cart and then fill the rest in the combine. So yeah, like there's only, there's only 6,000 in the one before I dump this. We had 23,000 capacity on this combine, so got 100, 150, 100, probably 80,000-ish liters we can hold. Yeah. Oh, I love this tip spout feature. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to harass Julian to look at it now that he's back. <laughs> I talked to him like a week ago, and he said he would, but he might have forgot Because I was playing around with his, and his cylinders move. Yeah. And me and Raphael, even Abel doesn't know what's going on. Like, neither of us, like, it's set up correctly, 
but I'm assuming it's something simple again, like the uh, tip animation or something like that. Like yeah. One of the lines is a name funny when it should be something else. Because I think the X, when you press X, it's run off the overload, LUA, where I think maybe his is the in-game script for the pipe Light. unfold. If that's the case, that would be really simple. Yeah. Like if he presses P instead of X, I think no, that I would think solve the issue. I think his is X or O, one of the two. Or you like you script it like pipe unfold or something like that. Yeah. Because right now it's run off of the LUA script and the LUA script. I'm not sure the cylinders ever really worked. Because I remember in 13 it never worked on the 1050 Kinsey. So. Guess I never paid that close of attention. You never do. <laughs> Not really, unless it's a Snapchat. What well, was that like? The first like couple nights that we were first MPing, and you just drive it right off the map. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's yeah. one way. Like, hey, this is crazy. I can't remember what field we were on. That was. That was on field three. No. It was? No, I thought it was 18. No, I thought it was eight or nine, and I just kept driving and driving and driving. Hog. It was either 18 or three. Because that southeast was never developed. I'm pretty sure it was three. I don't know. South Dakota Department of Ag Applicators License. So this convention center, how big is it? Not very big. It's our arena in South Dakota. Is it, uh, are they shipping in a bunch of equipment, like, you know, they normally do for those things, like on display? Yeah, they bring in a bunch of, I don't know if I'll get to see all the tractors. A lot of the times for ours, they just do egg things, like interrogator, rogator. I might get to see the new rogator cap, see if there's a new rogator cap. Dude, bring your sneaky, sneaky phone. <laughs> Buddy said he'll get a cat. Told my buddy today the next time he goes to Jackson, his ass better get me. I'm sure that'll be better. Good. They don't. The Butler guy won't care. The Butler guy buys me free drinks. The seed reps are buying me alcohol tomorrow night. I love this time of year. <laughs> is that, is that called schmoozing? <laughs> oh, they, they schmooze. Like, their idea of schmoozing when they go out to the bar after Egg Expo is ordering the black circle tray full of Morgan Cokes and just going, here you go, grab two. You know, some people think, like, in medicine, the pharmaceutical reps used to do that all the time. Yeah. And now they can't really do that anymore. You gotta remember, this is South Dakota. We drink a lot. Yeah, but I mean, I think that's just part of business, really. I mean, you're establishing a relationship with this person and you know as long as like whatever you're buying the data checks out you know it, and it's actually better than your competitor like what's wrong with like having a relation you know well they do you get Monsanto and DeKalb reps and or like Helena for chemical you go out to the bar with them and here, here's a tray of drinks and they'll buy 25 Morgan Cokes at, at a time and go, here you guys go. You run out and they go back and go, hmm, here's some more. Like, my decision as a business owner wouldn't be based off, okay, you bought me $25 worth of drinks when I'm about to spend $2 million, you know? But oh, it's <laughs> like, if you actually have a face with a name and you're in there in your phone and they'll pick up whenever you have a question and they'll drive out there, you know? 
Oh, they will. It's all about that service and... I've got the Helena rep, I've got the DuPont rep, I've got the decal rep in my phone. We, alone in chemical sales company-wide last year, we did like $18 million in chemical. Yeah. And we did just shy of 270,000 acres applied last year. So, how does that work? Does like a farmer have like their variable rate planting that you guys just upload, or how do you, how does it all? We we do soil testing for farmers. If farmers want to do var we do well. They do variable rate fertilizer is a big thing around here. Yeah. So what they do is they send a college kid out on a four wheeler, and he's got a little probe that's probably the size of a quarter, and yeah. he shoves it in the ground every so often. They send it off, sample it. So how like, many how many samples do you take? Like, what's your end? Like, 25 samples, 10 samples. 20, 20, 25. Yeah, that's depending on how big the how big the field is. Yeah. Then they send it off. So, like, say the southwest corner of 25 that we're in, where the trucks are at. Say that don't need as much fertilizer. Well, they'll make a map so that side's less fertilizer. So maybe that side only needs 200 pounds of fertilizer to the acre, and say the east end of it needs 400. So they'll put it in the map, make a map, send it to us, it will get uploaded into our interrogator, and as we're going across, the rate will actually automatically change going across the field to what the map says. So a lot of this broadcasting and like spring, is this like during the fall? I imagine like during the spring and stuff, you're, you're doing oh, a lot do, of herb and pesticide. We do variable, we do, well, you do night, a lot of like nitrogen which is your and your what we call urea yeah we do a lot of that in the spring because it leaches but we do a lot of variable rate in the spring in our emissions do you guys side dress then or do you, are you guys we, just we do not side dress we have we actually hire that out through a farmer he has a haggy with that nitrogen toolbar on it yeah he'll do side dressing for us and then we do liquid pre's in the spring, post pre's, and then we do post emerge crop spring. Where you gotta run those. Post emerge, I imagine you do that a few times during the season? Yeah, usually hit beans. You usually hit corn once before it gets too tall. You hit beans once or twice, depending on how. The biggest well, thing is if the bugs come back. Bugs? Yes. Like soybean aphids will yeah. wreck havoc on them. But it's got to be a certain threshold before we go back in, and most of the time we just end up calling an airplane. You mean like bugs per plant or something? Yeah, well, if they go bugs per plant, you basically pull off a leaf. If it has a crap ton of aphids on the leaf, probably going to need to spray guys don't like doing it because by the time you notice the aphids everything's it's probably already blossom. it's probably already done anyways so well it's full blossom so they're full beans are full bloom so the slightest touch to the bean will rip the plant off so usually they don't like machines going in and spraying those yeah but we do we do a lot of spraying a lot of spraying so what happens if you fry up, fry up a guy's crop? We have to pay for the damages. This, and then he doesn't have to claim insurance. Nope, it goes under us. Basically, the company is held liable. So if you go, so you got six dollar corn, and you go out and smoke a quarter of corn because you sprayed the wrong chemical or you didn't rinse out. Say you just. 15 acres of a quarter you didn't rinse out from switching from your last field and you smoke the first 15 acres we have to go we have to wait basically till he gets done harvesting his field we get the average bushels per acre and we take that times 15 times what the price of corn is and then we have to pay for that oh. and usually the applicator gets his ass chewed and might not be in a machine after that.
it's happened before. I imagine it would be kind of difficult to do because you got a guy in the truck with the chemical. You got you're probably not well, swat switching too many chemicals field to field. Oh, you do. It's we switch a lot during the day. You'll switch from say you'll have. There's days I've started off with three bean fields, then I have to rinse out, go to a cornfield, then I have to rinse out, go back and do five bean fields, then I have to rinse out again and go do three cornfields. And you switch all the time. Like each farmer uses different chemicals. We have over 200 different, we have over 130 different chemicals in our warehouse. That doesn't sound efficient at all. <laughs> it's not. The good days are the day you get the big farmer that's got, you know, 1,400 acres. Because you can flirt with 1,400 acres in a day, but you're hauling ass. Most I've ever gotten one day was 1,063. And I was rolling corn at 18 mile an hour. <laughs> Have you ever ran any of those front booms? I have not run a front boom. I've run a 4430 Patriot with 120 foot booms, 4930 Deer with 120 foot booms, and the new Rogator 1300 with 120 foot booms. Not run a front boom. Oh shit. And I've also run a 9300 Terry. Those are air pneumatic, right? Yep, air max, yep. The big boys, the big, big producers. Do you guys do any kind of, uh, like, gypsum application or any kind of, like... Lime and gypsum. Manure or, or...? No, we don't do manure, but we do pelletized lime, like, you know, yeah. some water treatment plants got lime. Well, we get it in the pellet form, so basically helps with the pH. So guy puts down a lot of shit, like hog shit is gonna need a lot of pell lime to neutralize the pH. Well, don't you kinda want a little acidic soil for corn? You do, but you'll be surprised how acidic the hog shit is. Yeah. But I mean your ground is a pretty decent buffer. You'd have to put down a lot to impact oh, these guys the pH. There's guys that do. We have, we've put down 500 pounds of lime before. Per acre? Oh yeah. Fuck. How much? It's, how much is lime? Well, gypsum, gypsum gives you your. Gets you. Uh, I don't know what it is per ton. It's not that really that expensive. Potash and urea. I think potash is like five or six hundred bucks a ton. That's pretty common in Canada, isn't it? Yeah, that's where they, you can get potash out of Canada or Mexico, and it'll show up three different colors. <clears throat> I've seen clear potash before, I've seen pink potash, and then I've seen dark red potash. And then you can have urea show up two different colors. It can be white or it can be blue. I know there's a company I know, Potash of Saskatchewan. That's a pretty big... Yeah, we get, train, we get potash train. So do you, you guys, are you over by the Red River Valley then? Or are you more we're west? west? Of there. Yeah. We're west, way west of there. I'm like 100 and, 130 miles away from people. So do they do beets then that out far out west, or is that more of a wheat? Um, where I'm located, like, I'm southeast South Dakota. We're corn and beans mostly. If you get up into northwest, Western South Dakota, yeah. that's where you see a lot more wheat because it's drier. Yeah. Minnesota's the beet state. I West West Minnesota is definitely. You yeah. get to the east, it's it's well, not. You got to be northern Minnesota, northwest Minnesota to do beets. I haven't seen much beets west Minnesota where we drive. That's a lot of corn because that's pretty decent. Fertile. South Dakota got really fertile ground for corn. So does Iowa. Those big 9,300 carriers would be 
look at them on Google. They will put down 250 pounds of potash at 30 mile an hour from across the field. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you gotta love engineering, man. Engineering is great. I've spread a field at 32 mile an hour. Holy hell. And the those big, how, how much, what's the PSI in those big ass tires? Uh, 30. Just like a big combine tire. How much weight is that then? A lot. <laughs> You got like 20 tons bouncing in the back of your truck. Oh, at least. In the back of that interrogator? Oh, at least. If I remember correctly, I think it fit. was it? It fit like 10 or 12 ton of product in the back of the bottom. How much, uh, how long does it take you for you to use like a conveyor to load to it up? To fill it? Yeah. That merit will take mm, 10, Five 12 minutes. minutes. 10 minutes? Yeah. Those conveyors really sling them. That's moving a lot of material. Mm. You can burn it. <clears throat> Fastest I've ever spread a field, I've spread 100 acres in 40 minutes. Yeah, I mean, but a 100 acre field, when you really look at it, it's not that big. Yeah. We got 70 foot booms. Yeah, but you also gotta remember, that's counting loading time. That was counting loading twice. Yeah. Well, how, how can you go, how far can you go on? Depends on, the, depends on the rate. I mean, in the springtime... Well, people aren't the, putting down 200 tons an acre, <laughs> you know? No, but we've had we've had variable rate stuff over 1,000 pounds an acre. What, at the top of hills? Uh, no, actually a couple of them were low spots. Yeah. Basically, when we do... When we do our, our variable rate in the fall, they'll do are they just trying to like maximize their yield down there or something or yeah really just yeah, push they, it yeah yeah they make sense but it's already good we're gonna make it great yeah <laughs> there was one guy put down the potash which is k for p they put down potash and then they put down map which is the my dye or map is mono ammonium phosphate yeah so you get your phosphate your and then they put AMS in the center of it to make it the corn green and grow. <clears throat> so they split the AMS between the two of them when they make the ticket so that we can... Our, our 9300s have two bins, two chains, so we can run two products at the same time. But so you could broadcast two products at once? Yeah. I can basically, I can throw down N and I can throw down PK at the same time. Yeah. And the That's assuming you want to put them down in equal amounts, right? Or can you like? I can variable rate both of them. I you, can put you down. You can't. Yeah, but you can't pull from the conveyor. You can only pull from one hopper, right, at a time. No, it's got two chains. It's got two conveyors. Oh. So basically. So you can mix your your thing. You could do like 60-40. So you can like still. Yep. Swap you out your. Basically, the bin is split in half, but it's got a divider wall that you can make 50-50, yep. or you can flip the divider wall, and you got a 60-40 split of the bin on top. Yeah. And the back bin's got a higher set of chains, so it sits a little bit above the first topper, and it'll feed into the thing and shoot out with air out the tubes. That's cool. It's $400,000 piece of equipment. It's pretty much a uh, trailer, hopper, conveyor, mixing wagon. And booms. I don't mix. That comes from the blender mix. I just shoot it into the right hopper and have at it. The butler guys really love us when they come to visit. You guys got any questions? Yeah, when are you going to make the GPS kick out? Not kick out so fast. It kicks out at 27. How fast do you need it to go? Faster. <laughs> <laughs> 42? <laughs> the tractor would fall well, apart in the field. Those uh, those big 9300s will only go 40 miles an hour down the road. Yeah. So 27 is the max, huh? 27 is the max on the GPS, and if you're not paying attention when you hit 27, you'll hear the GPS go beep, beep, and the interrogator take a sharp right. Oh, shit. 
<laughs> I'm assuming, knowing Jake, Jake has done this. <laughs> Jake would know. Yeah. Jake That's knows exactly what that sound sounds like <laughs> and what happened. <laughs> Snapchatting for real. <laughs> I did. I took a Snapchat. Ah, shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I was I was actually steering it when I took the Snapchat. I think Sandstorm came on the radio, so I had to take a Snapchat. And I was flying across the field. And you know how you can switch over and take your speed? Yeah. I flipped over and it said 31.6. I took the video and sent it to my boss and a few other people. <laughs> <laughs> you know those memes when you see a piece of equipment, like face, you know, nose first into the water, and you wonder... Or you see a whole tractor and planter wrapped around a power line, and you wonder, how does this happen? Well, <laughs> you gotta know someone like Jake, first of all. <laughs> He's gotta I, know, be I, I know a guy that ripped down the telephone pole, but I'm not gonna say names of who it was. Um, first of me. all, how do you get out of it? Because I would be afraid about getting electrocuted. He did. The lucky thing for him was a farmer around the area where it happened was a part-time fireman and saw the box go pssst. Oh, the transformer blew? Well, he hit the, he hit the cable, that kind of the holding cable. Yeah. When he was backing up down a minimum maintenance road, well, he hit the cable, kept backing up, didn't know he hit the cable, and down came pole with transformer on top of the cab. So the cables are on the cab? Yep. Well, you know how some of those power line poles in the country got that extra cable for support? Yeah. Well, yeah, he should be good, because it's basically grounded at that point, and then... No, it was not grounded. So if you were to touch anything... If you were to touch anything metal... You're gone. You'd feel it, yeah. Because the, the fireman part-time fireman slash farmer got there and he said he could hear the cables zapping on the ground. I know a guy that detached a box from a interrogator. So how do you, how do you cut power to the lines or how do you ground it? Do you they, had, they had to call a electrical company. There's an electrical company in our, in the town that it happened in so they came out right away. I would be scared shitless of that. I've been driving down the highway in a rainstorm coming back from spraying crops when I used to work up north in South Dakota. I was following another guy. We were driving down the highway in a rainstorm because we were out spraying earlier that day. And shit you not, right as I passed the telephone pole, lightning strike hit it. I shit my pants. <laughs> All of a sudden, flash of light, you're like, holy shit. I've seen a guy rip a box off a interrogator before. He was fully loaded going across the field and hit a draw and it kind of bounced and the box left the machine. <laughs> was it not bolted down or what? <laughs> you really want to know what holds those boxes on the cab? What a little... Four, bolts. four pins, yeah, four bolts. Yeah, four. So those things sheared right off, huh? Yeah. Oh yeah, they're like cast. They're like cast steel bolts. Yeah, they're they don't. They're not much holding them on. I mean, a bolt. If you take your finger, like you take your pointer finger and your thumb and make a circle, that's probably how thick the bolts are. And there's four of them that hold that box on. Yeah. Because that design is not the greatest. Well, found your problem. Your bolts <laughs> suck. <laughs> you can thank me later for doing your research and development for you. Oh, trucks are full. <laughs> Alright, so... We might have more. Well, we might have enough space. We you got know, in the cart. We, we, I think we have enough between that cart and the combine. 
This we have 40... We have 60,000 liters we can... <laughs> it's gonna be close. <laughs> How much do we have left? Not much. We got a lot of short rows coming soon. Fuck, I don't know. We probably got close to 60,000 in the field. That whole uh, south part of 44 was 88,000. Yeah. And we got pretty... We got about... Two thirds of that left. So. Make a check mark for one truck. I'm gonna go dump one. You make a check mark. What the fuck is this? Okay. You got one truck. Oh crap. Come on. Make it out of the road. I know you're starting to slip. I feel like we're actually running a real business on the server. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine if everybody listened to the video of us sitting here going, why do you guys do that? <laughs> well, it's kind you of the point of the game, is it not? Yeah. Like, that's yeah. the whole point. I mean, it's farming simulator, and that's what farmers do, is they look at their yields, their nutrients, they control their <laughs> cost. I don't know. I mean, gotta, Now we just got to get that achievement of making <clears throat> Ten million dollars. You know, otherwise, what do you do? Just drive around in a mod and mow grass? I don't. Know. What <coughs> yeah, we can start up a lawn mowing company for businesses. I think what we should do is we should clear cut some woods. Make just some new fields. Rent some forestry, some forestry equipment, and just go ham. <laughs> I guess. I don't. I don't really think we have any uh, areas on the map that you can. Maybe over there by 41 and 40, 42, yeah, but what 43. About up by 38 and 39. That's all trees. 38. West of the big green farm up there. Oh yeah, yeah. But that's kind of hilly. 32, yeah, 31. We can cut those trees. <laughs> yeah. Isn't there any in uh? Isn't there any in forty and forty one anymore? Or did we remove all those? There's. I'm not sure. I know there's, there's some between forty two and forty three. You well, mean in the middle of the fields? I think there are, in the middle of the field still. Like those sure. island of trees. Yeah. Cause we we harvest those those how many times? <laughs> Not to tell him. It's just. Get in there! Get in there! Just shoving the tree in the chair. <laughs> well, that's 20,000 liters of mulch. <laughs> How much is a whole tree? I don't know. Let's find out. Shove it in the tree. It, it's literally like a full trailer. That big ass axle trailer. It was like, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? How many trees does it take to <laughs> one, two, full? <laughs> Ten thousand. Who's the retard that made it home ten thousand? It's a four axle pilot. Yeah, I didn't think I was gonna be on the server tonight, but <laughs> the option of getting beans done outweighed going to. Oh, man, it was it's so cold out right now that I like finally like got in Got out of my scrubs and, and then all of a sudden there's Jake Joe Combine's broke. It's like god damn it. It's just one thing after another It's literally just something every day <laughs> I, I tried to reset it. I was gonna say something stupid and you go did you reset it? No, oh, I didn't think of that one. <laughs> you know Mike's just laughing. He's like, oh, God. <laughs> it's like everybody goes, I gotta get caught up on my wind chaser videos. I like listening to you guys give each other shit. <laughs>
I'd like to have a 1500 JM grain cart though. <laughs> that model was pretty nice. I'm surprised they gave up on I, that one. I still don't know why. I mean, he seems basically finished. Yeah, I just need to texture and make a fill plane. It was already textured. Yeah. He just needed no, to finish the, the pipe, the auger, and then I, w I would in game it for him. It wouldn't take anything. Do it. Oh, yeah, you making a fill plane for it? I'm surprised you haven't taken a semi back to Blender to make a fill plane. You know, I thought about doing it uh, this morning, um, but. At the same time, I was kind of like, well, maybe I want to try to make it two fill planes, you know? Yeah. So. Oh, how you do that? Yeah. I don't either. Yeah. That's the only reason why I didn't go ahead and do it, because I actually think that would be cool to investigate a little bit. But I mean, yeah, yeah it wouldn't take me very long to make a new fill plane. It'd probably take me ten minutes, maybe. But it's just how you'd figure out how to get like one mod. Uh, figure out oh hey it's two separate hoppers I don't oh. know of anything else that unless you could call it like hopper one or hopper two name them I, I don't even know how to do it I don't either that'd be nice like hop the front hoppers got its own fill plane and it dumps out of the front section back hopper you got its own and dumps out of the back hopper instead of I'll look at the fillable LUA file and see if it would be possible to yeah, write that, that. it might be a custom script like your Oxbow yeah I, would, I think you had to write a custom script because I don't really know anything ever that yeah uses in-game scripts and is able to have multiple. I guess it's not really a necessity because the fill planes don't work in multiplayer anyway. Yeah. I want to see more updates on that cattle and crops. Yeah. I mean, some of it looks like it's pretty shitty. Some of it looks like it's good. We're going to do like everybody else snow on your map and go snow plow <laughs> look at my sweet plow truck but I also think the next farm sim game is going to be really improved you mean 17 it's only about a year I, th I think there's going to be this is my prediction I'm thinking there's going to be multiple navigation meshes yeah. like you can have cows at multiple areas. Hey, did you see the all the trees right here on the west side of this field? The what? Did you see all the trees along the road here? That's a few extra acres we could till up. That's true. It's a lot of money in those trees as well. They're all good trees. I think my next map, I'm not going to have any of those 40 meter trees. I think those are too big. Those are the fun ones to try to get into the chipper, though. I know, but where in the hell do you ever see a tree that fucking big? Forest. Okay. Before, before people come in and uh, annihilate it with big equipment. Can't I mean, we're doing. the trees are like 40 feet high back, you know, yeah. like, that's an average north, like, midwest tree, right? Yeah, but the 40 meter trees don't look that bad in the game. No. 40 fucking meters, that's a big ass tree. That's like, that's like back in Yosemite, man. That's, those are bigger than those redwood, myrrh woods trees. Yeah. I don't know. All the 40, they just seem so big compared to everything else. I'm at 74. But so much fun trying to get it in the chipper. <laughs> With that little grapple crane on the beaver chipper. Yeah. Call that thing the angry beaver. 
So ex wife is a pretty good name for that one. <sighs> good times, good times. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're such a nerd, you play farms. You should see his Facebook page. You guys are <laughs> such dicks. <laughs> it was like tag you know, team. I don't know why people can be mad at you. The amount of shit we give people to laugh at, we should be fucking comedians and get paid for this. I, yeah. We should do like a <laughs> drunk, drunk night. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I would hate to log on to the server the next morning and see what we screwed up. Wait, how did there happen to get 40 N in the field? How did that, I don't, don't. All right. Don't give Raphael the sprayer. <laughs> the fields will be right. toast. Alright, who drew the giant penis in field 19? <laughs> I was fully expecting that to happen. I was expecting to log on and there's a giant penis in the field after you posted that video. That you know what, I wouldn't be surprised if it's somewhere. Like, I just haven't seen it yet. It ain't in here yet. I'll wait till field that we haven't done yet. <laughs> Jake's doing... <laughs> Doing shitties on the, the 2720. There's a penis crop circle. Oh no, we're not going 2720. We're going. We're, going <laughs> we're, we're we're going black mamba 2623 <laughs> penis. You're gonna have to do it on field 19. You need a big enough canvas, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, kind of. If you tilt your head to look at like 19. Say you're tilted. Tilt your head so you're looking at cock and balls. <laughs> you know, Kinda. when you post that link, for some reason that's the first thing I thought of. It's like this guy's doing a penis. He's doing a penis in the field. That's exactly what like Mike goes. Are you really gonna draw? Six twenty three yet? He goes, I don't <laughs> think so. It's a twenty nine twenty nine's pulling open for one of those. <laughs> uh. <laughs> he goes, he's gonna get pissed. Goes, who get who can get mad over a big giant penis <laughs> in the field? <laughs> if anyone's gonna do it, it's gonna be Jake. <laughs> I, could, I could see that drunk night on <laughs> <laughs> Just a giant penis in the field. Who done who it? Out, Jake? Who went out and combined a big set of tits in the field? <laughs> uh, Can you imagine that? Just <laughs> start on the outside and just start combining to the center and just leave a little circle in the middle of the penis. <laughs> who drew a giant pair of tits? <laughs> tits. Tatas. Oh, God. I could, I could laugh. Just like if somebody missed that their hopper was full. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Can you imagine? Good thing we got GPS. Why? Because the taste is doing snakes. <laughs> <laughs> Joel, this header. I can't see. <laughs> Do we know what we're doing? No, but we're sure having fun. <laughs> this is farm sim management. What if we get off that field for yield? We just got mine that field? I have no idea. I'm supposed to keep track. <laughs> God damn it. I just service your load. <laughs> Give me your load. Is it wet? <laughs> oh, God. Can you imagine if me and you were drunk on a cop? No, what we have to really do is we both, yeah, both have to be in combine and Mike's on cart. We'd just screw him over big time. He would probably turn off his mic and headphones. <laughs> He'd be like, I can't, I can't handle it. Mike! Fuck this. Mike! <laughs> Fuck this shit, I'm going to a different field. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Bring 
that Canadian accident over here. <laughs> oh yeah. We got you. <laughs> Ogo Torp? Ask him, ask him if he's watched, uh... Fuck, what's that show? That's the movie. Ogo Torp? <laughs> Ogo... You go in bucks. You feel shame. Then you go free! <laughs> It's got the you fucking dump. goalie stick. Go. You dump that cart, eh? <laughs> eh? <laughs> eh? See, you're going crosswise compared to what I was combining earlier. But look at the map. I'm going the long way. Huh. Yeah, you are. You sprayed it the wrong direction. Yeah. It's all your fault. What can you do? Look at those tire tracks. Go up, come on. Go up the hill. Come on. What time is it? I need to pack. <sighs> I think you only got Spain, Spain, <laughs> Spain. Yeah. But then we're gonna have we would have been like done with everything by now if we had the other combine going. <laughs> cool. both, both of us going to win chaser server chat. Mike! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, once we get Big Kitty, he'll have it made. <laughs> he'll be able to he keep up to with us, no problem. <laughs> Well, he'll need to learn to not turn so fast with Big Kitty on there. Why? Big Kitty jackknife. You take sharp corners fast. Yeah, when you're going like 40. Yeah. Mike's going to be so happy. He's like, it's pulling like a dream. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mike died. Especially if we're drunk and being a dick to him and being on opposite sides of the field. <laughs> Can you imagine him come flying up and making What we should do is, is we should do like what we usually do. Like we're making up a middle section and then we're going to like keep him in the middle. But we, then we like go on the outside. <laughs> <laughs> and so he's just stuck in the middle and we're both on the outside. So he's got to go around. Oh, that would be great. Instead of like, you know, left, 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 we take a right, you know. If he was drunk. He would just go right through the crop. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's not what I had in mind, but <laughs> that plan kind of backward. <laughs> He's gonna be like, ha, <laughs> take that. Yeah, he would win if he did that. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Jake ain't gonna draw a giant penis in the field. I am. The only bad thing about it is you have to do it on a dead field. You can't do it on something you already planted. Yeah. Well, you could. Joe comes out here to spread fertilizer. What the fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't notice it until you zoomed way out. You'd be like, who started plowing this or tilling this? And then you'd pan out and it's like, oh, it's a giant penis. Cool. <laughs> Who's the dick that did this? I would instantly think you. <laughs> so, it, like, people people know. So they could, like, <laughs> they could, like, screw you over. They could go mess up and you'd get blamed for it. <laughs> I think it'd just be funny to come on here or something like go over to 25. Take, like, the cultivator, draw a big damn penis, and wait for you to go check the field to see what he'd spread. <laughs> Just see the picture on your Facebook page. <laughs> Obviously, you can't leave the server alone for a little bit. <laughs> Is that a penis? No, it's a rocket ship. <laughs> <laughs> you suck at drawing. <laughs> it's like a little Austin Powers. Johnson. Chop. <laughs> <laughs> uh. 
Dude. Shut up. <laughs> oh, you're in tripod. <laughs> Groovy. <laughs> twins, Basil. Twins. <laughs> I was laughing. You're recording right now. I am. <laughs> Because I'm depressed, I'm depressed because I eat. Constantly judging a society that demands perfection. I didn't know I had any corn. You gotta love the smell of your own brand. <laughs> Left a little rosebud in there for you. <laughs> <laughs> My stinky <pinky> was <laughs> Daddy, fuck you. Fuck me. No, well, fuck you. Fuck you. You can kiss your mama with that mouth. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dad, stand up and take a bow. Dad. That oh. janitor is there. <laughs> Beginning and then at like 30 years later. It's the same fucking janitor. Daddy. Daddy wasn't there to take me to the fair. Change my underwear. <laughs> Daddy. You ever seen the Ted movie? Ted? Yes. The bear? Yes. What was that fucking action hero figure they met? Flash Gordon. Flash Gordon. <laughs> you need there's, to watch there's a shit on my floor. <laughs> you need to watch Ted too. That's even better. Dude, I was uh, walking through the Boston Commons and uh, I saw them filming. I saw like Mark Wahlberg and <laughs> it was funny. I was doing a externship on Newberry Street um, and uh, what's his fucking face? Johnny Depp was in town too, and uh, Johnny Depp had like um, he was just like five blocks down. So I'd like go down there where they were filming on lunch. And he has like all of his bodyguards and shit because he's like an A-list celebrity. And then you got, you got uh, Wahlberg that grew up in Dorchester and he's got no one, no bodyguards or anything. So hey, it's kind of funny. Joe, you know what a Boston girl sounds like in bed? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hot. Yeah. My face with Pepperidge Farm. Hot. So that's straight from Ted, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff my face on Pepperidge Farm. <laughs> my bad, Thomas. <laughs> Pepperidge Farm remembers. <laughs> Were you a bad little kid? Pepperidge <laughs> Farm remembers. <laughs> drive I was I use two road beers usually perfect uh, our farm every night after we get in from the field my two uncles dad and I sit down and have two whiskeys each oh that's not enough for what we have planned well what's that that's not enough for what we have planned I'm trying to th I have uh... well Joe came up with the good idea that we should Hey, hey, I don't want to take all the credit here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have the idea that we should have a drunk... Jake's kind of excited. <laughs> wind chaser. <laughs> that would be good. <laughs> Could you imagine our conversation with everybody laughing? Well, we are. Everybody's listening to us go, Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> we just Service me, like bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we found a broken combine. 
Seriously, if it's not broke, go get Jake because he will find a way to break it. <laughs> I'm starting to realize that. <laughs> People, Jake, you should really go into quality control. <laughs> I told the butler rep that. <laughs> said no. <laughs> well, think about it. Like, you will find the weakest part of that product. Yeah. And then they will fix it. And then you will continue to find the next weakest part of that product. It is 8 inch thick steel. How did he break it? It's Jake. Don't. I have no idea. He went 42 with 20 tons in the back over that bump. He he got 6 feet of air. That's how it happened. I've done 32 in a tear There's a machine here. There's two tires rolling off over there. What happened? Holy shit. Jake had back tire passing me. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> hard, hard. <laughs> Are you recording right now? Yeah, you're you're killing our groove with your synchronization. Now we're. Because uh. <laughs> we we just discussed like four minutes of Austin Powers quotes before you got off. Crikey! <sighs> <laughs> My pinky was a key. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember that one. I just remember when he gets like the golf cart stuck sideways in the hallway, and he's like, that was old member where he went, "My pinky was a key." Oh yeah, bong in a bedroom, smoking. Bong in a bedroom. gonna buy a second Draper now, yeah. You should probably rent one, yeah. I don't have money to buy it. You think I'm just like deep pocket <laughs> money bags here? <laughs> 2.2 million in the hole, and we're leasing 60% of our fields here. And we're buying a kitty. Fuck. <laughs> Good thing we get, like, a 3% subsidy on our land. Yeah. Next harvest season, Mike's gonna have a kitty on the cart. <laughs> nice. Are you retting that head for him so we can get done with beans in a hurry? Beans? We're done with beans. Oh. Basically. Are we going to do any barley fields tonight? Or? I'm probably going to call it a night. Um, I might call it a night. Friday or something. I got a pack tomorrow so I can get drunk on our seed reps. Ooh. And then stay at a hotel. And then go recertify. <laughs> and holiday go, in. And then want to go kill myself the next day at recertification class because I'm going to be hungover like shit. Well, that's the place to do it. Yeah. There's gonna be an exam after this. Ah, oh, piss. <laughs> no, we just gotta sit through PowerPoints and usually go, How's everybody doing? Can you please not talk so loud? I have a headache. <laughs> I remember you showing me a picture like last year. You just had like your feet up on the table and you're just in this little room. Certification. Yeah. Looks I like fun. My, I bring my battery pack. My phone. <laughs> Make sure you bring your charger for your phone. You're Wait gonna need it. <laughs> Temple run on my phone. Facebook, Instagram. Trivia crack. Oh. Snapchat. Hey, trivia crack looks pretty good. Snapchat, yeah, you gotta have Snapchat. You know, I don't really use Snapchat anymore. But oh, some some kid has to be at Snapchat on Instagram. I thought about finding him like a gay guy. Snapchat, Snapchat him on the butthole. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> you want mods? Just dig in here. <laughs> yeah. If you had a PC, could we play online together? All these mods are PC and no. Cool. That sucks. That kid on YouTube. Do you have a mod site for your mods? Yeah, it's called my, for my friends. Oh, I guess I need to be his friend. Can we be friends? <laughs> ah, rather not. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Random Facebook message on Facebook. Friend request. Oh, he's friends with other FS kids. Delete. <laughs> Actually, I don't delete them. I leave them in there so they can't resend the request after I deny it. Yeah, I block There's it. Only, 
There's only like 75 friendly clips on my Facebook. <laughs> I, I think I sent, I mark it as like, I either block or I mark it as spam and then. Well, one of these days I hope Jason Peterman removes my block and messages me again. Oh, he's, he's sending me messages like, what do you think of my truck? I've never had so much fun. Where can I buy that? I want to buy my nephew Legos for his birthday. <laughs> <laughs> my mods are better than Joe's. Seriously, please, Toys R Us? I got it at Target. It was on sale. Lego Look, section. <laughs> I built this. Oh, come on. Don't lie to me. Did you get it at Wally World? Because they said they don't sell those there. They're actually discontinuing their Lego line. Yeah. They told me that was a choking hazard. <laughs> <laughs> it scared the little kids, so... <laughs> Who had to pull it? You're such a dick. You were the, you were the king through of the FS community. Yeah. I didn't realize I was such a powerful, influential, prominent figure where I, I and I alone could take down a multi-million dollar... People are insane. It's not that jackass you have that posts all the pictures of your mods and doesn't share them because he's selfish. <laughs> You're so greedy. You're so greedy. You spend hours, hundreds and hundreds of hours modeling and you don't share. You're so greedy. <laughs> yeah. It's like they call me they call me greedy for not leaking your mods. You have his mods and you take pictures and you won't even release them? Uh, no. Yeah, some of the shit those guys come out with is you just gotta shake your head. Like, I don't even... Seriously, if you caught your kid posting shit like that on the internet, what would you do? Break their computer? <laughs> Beat them with a belt? Yeah. And then break their computer. Yep. Like, without <laughs> hesitation, my dad would whip out a belt on my ass. I don't know if my dad would whoop my ass, he'd just belittle me and make fun of me until I quit posting shit like that. Yeah. yeah I, I would get beat. There's I'm pretty sure I would belt. get, I would either get spanked or with a belt. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. Why do you join these, com why do you join these Facebook pages, or Farm Sim Facebook pages that have like 3,000 members? Just think of a butthurt. <laughs> <laughs> like I can't believe it's not butthurt. <laughs> like that farm sim. Apply directly to the butt. 4.3 million, or 4.3 thousand likes. I was talking with somebody on a different page. Like, somebody add me to this page. I got a whole shitload of pictures for this. <laughs> they go, do you really like causing butt hurt? I go, 4.3 thousand likes. I said, by the end of that 3,000, probably have me blocked. <laughs> <laughs> You know, the kitty, but it looks so good on this 26, Quit posting your shitty mod picks. Yeah. It's My no different. Yeah. Just because I happen to have nicer models is no different than you posting pictures of shit. That's more infuriating than anything. Oh boy. I thought you guys were gonna go in reverse and oh, unload on the go. We, I'm gonna go over to 26. No, where are we going next? Are we gonna Thir try to do this reverse yet? 13. I hope you got it on. We're gonna try this. Well, I hope I can go fast. How fast can I go? Do you have anything in your tank? You gotta Come get on. close. I know. Hold on. Mike's full. Left of that. Yeah, a little sliver. Oh, we're probably gonna need to do it on a different field another night. Hold on, I'm coming. We're gonna go backwards. Wait till I get there. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Come out! Come out! Damn GPS ain't gonna work either. Yep. He's gonna yeah. do it! See this. 
Why is this car going in backwards? <laughs> nice, he's doing it. Nice work. Nice. <laughs> uh, with an articulating tractor too. That's impressive. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. Wind chaser. Enough said. <laughs> Alright, so Mike's got a full load. Is there anything in that other truck? No, I don't think so. Okay. Nine, two, oh, seven. We did three trucks plus nine, two, oh, seven. Yep. Well, I'm gonna log off and then you guys can do whatever you want.